Hey guys, what's up? It's Best Cop Around, and in this video, I want to show you guys how to play basically any PC game using a PS3 controller. And I just want to let you guys know before I start this video off, any movements my cursor is moving, is doing, sorry, or any clicking or anything on the screen, I am all doing with my PS3 controller as we speak. Because I have already set this up. So first what you need to do is install the software. Which I'll have the link in the description for this. And first what you need to figure out before you install it is whether you need the 32 or 64 bit. So to do that, go down to your Windows icon. Go to Control Panel. Go to System and Security. Yeah, System Security. And then go to system and it should say right here so I have the 64 bit so then what you want to do is once you have it installed open it up but mine doesn't open right away when I click it so I have to run as administrator you guys may have to do this you guys may not but then uh, this page will pop up and up in this box once this page pops up plug in your PS3 controller using the USB cable that um came with your PS3 and then once you do that once it's in the box go to driver manager and then this should be here or whatever yours is click the check the box and click load driver but I've already done this so I'm not going to so once you've done that go back to profiles and then this is how you have your button layout like these are different uh, presets but what I suggest you do is do custom so just click the custom bubble and then create but I already have one made for uh, the, the game Metro 2033 that was the purpose that I did that I uh, used my PS3 controller for um but so and then you just set up your buttons like say for example to jump in metro it's the space just like in minecraft and like most uh ps3 games i wanted the x to be the x button to be jump so i clicked x and then i set it as it was going to be a keystroke clicked it and then the default it'll say escape but to change that just go here and then the whole keyboard will pop up and then you just click whatever button it is that you're setting it to so just click space as an example for this and then save if you've already done this and you're just making changes just click your already existing file and just save it but as if it is your first time setting your buttons once you are done click enable first and then save and then you're pretty much done and if you want to test it out you can go to click enable here and then click vibration testing and click that and your controller should vibrate like mine just vibrated in my hands so yeah that is pretty much it so you can use this for basically any PC game you can use it for Minecraft for those of you who are wondering I've done it but these are all the games that I use it for I m mainly use it for Metro but you can use it for Combat Arms, Gary's Mod, Payday, Team Fortress 2 or Arma 2 those are just those are just a very few list of games that you can do it on. So I'll have the link for the website in the description. And then when you go to the page, just click on whether to download the 32 or 64 bit once you discover what you need to use. Alright guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.